it's been catching the eye of those passing by. He said, well, let's just hang him in the front. Could it really be? My brother-in-law come up our driveway, screeched to a halt, said, grab a knife, we got to go cut this guy out of a tree. And what about this sign? What's coming? More lynchings. That's that's your or some sort of threat. Since Friday, the sheriff's office says it's been flooded with calls. We've had several calls on the complaining of it. But Chief Deputy Richard Smith says in this case, their hands are tied. There's no violations of law uh, that we can act upon at this time. That's because what's caused so much commotion. He has styrofoam and chicken wire is nothing more than a prop. We have a uh, haunted hayride coming in uh, October. Peggy Richards has spent the last two years turning her ranch into a haunted hayride attraction for Halloween. This is our business to scare you. Peggy, a nurse by day, says this is nothing more than a promotion, one she says has worked better than expected. No, we didn't really expect this this at all. We really, and we, and to, for us, it doesn't really look that realistic. But for many, it does. And just because it's not real, some say, doesn't make it okay. I'm, I'm a business owner. I'm all for advertising and, and getting attention. But I don't think they're going about that quite the right way.